Hello, dear traders, and welcome to Olymp Trade. My name is Angie, and this is our weekly forecast and outlook where we are going to discuss the most important news releases. We'll talk about the United States and the fact that President Donald Trump is still not giving up. We'll talk about the possible vaccine perspectives from Pfizer. We'll talk about what's been going on in the economy, what news releases to pay attention to this week, and then we'll look at price target opportunities for major currency pairs Euro US dollar, USD JPY, GBP USD, and gold. The counting of presidential votes continues in some states of America. Uh, President Donald Trump resists desperately by filing lawsuits and demanding a recount. Meanwhile, according to published data, Biden has already collected 306 votes with a passing score of 270. In other words, his victory is becoming more and more obvious. Now the fight is for the state of Georgia, where Trump has demanded a recount of the votes. The final results are to be announced on the 20th of November. Also last week, China congratulated Biden as more and more world leaders recognize the victory of the Democratic Party. The Dow Jones index showed high volatility last week and practically tested the three, uh, 30,000 uh, points level of resistance and then formed a doji. Uh, on 1111. It may prove uh, to be difficult for market bulls to breach this strong level of resistance, which means that we may see a correction on the stock market this week. Additionally, one of the biggest events of last week is the vaccine optimism from pharmaceutical companies Pfizer and BioNTech. Although risk appetite increased across markets, we have to keep the optimism weighted as the global number of infections and deaths continues to rise at an alarming record-breaking pace. We'll have an update on the results of the vaccine testing in a few weeks. The price of Pfizer shares increased by more than 14% when markets opened last week and reached $41.99 but then corrected and currently trading around $38.62. And now let's talk about uh, what news releases we should pay attention to this week. Uh, so during this week on Tuesday, November the 17th at 1.30 p.m. GMT, we'll have the release of U.S. retail sales for the month of October. The forecast is for an increase of 0.5%, which is down from 1.9% in September. As a reminder, retail sales are important as we try to gauge the state of the economy. When people are spending and consuming, the economy is thriving. If the actual release is going to be above forecast, we can expect a rise for the United States dollar. On Wednesday, November the 18th at 1.30 p.m. GMT, Canada will release its numbers on the Core Consumer Price Index, CPI, and you'll want to pay attention to pairs with the Canadian dollar. Thursday, November 19th at 3 p.m. GMT, United States will report on existing home sales. Last month, there was a slump in new home sales, which means that we may see a decline in existing home sales as well. In case the report shows weak figures, we may see a decline in the United States dollar. And on Friday, November the 20th, uh, we'll look at retail sales from Great Britain. The forecast is 0.1% for the month of October, down from 1.5% in September. This sounds quite realistic due to the second wave of the pandemic. A weak report will lower the British pound. And now let's look at potential price targets for Euro US dollar, GBP USD, USD JPY, and gold. We're going to be looking at the four hour time frame. Euro Euro's dollar on the four hour time frame is showing that the uh, us that bulls are currently in control. The price is following a local trend line up from the beginning of November. Uh, the price is above the Ichimoku cloud and further resistance is going to be located around 1.18957 followed by 1.19511.
G, uh, we are seeing a similar correlation on GBP USD on the four hour time frame. Uh, the, uh, the price is also following a local trend line up. Um, the price is also above the Ichimoku cloud with resistance targets around 1.32 to 84. And further up, we have 1.32951. USDJPY on the four hour time frame um, made an attempt to break below the uh, Ichimoku cloud, which coincides with the uh, um, Ichimoku cloud support, which coincides with the 50% FIBO level. Uh, currently, the U.S. dollar remains under pressure uh, somewhat uh, and, uh, because late last night, uh, Japan showed a better than expected recovery by reporting third quarter GDP at 5%, which is above 4.4% forecast and negative 8.2% previous fact. Uh, we are looking for uh, support targets at the 50% FIBO level, which is 104.440. And further down, support is going to be at the 61.8% FIBO level, which is 104.149. Our resistance targets, which we can uh, see right now, we are break we broke above the 38.2, and our strong level of resistance is the 23.6% FIBO level, around 105.037. Now, as the um, as the United States dollar is sh showing us signs of weakness, gold, on the other hand, is showing us signs of strength. I actually had a few good trades um, uh, last week with gold. And um, after dropping, let me go ahead and close this for better view. After dropping to this strong level of uh, support around 1850 per troy ounce, the price has recovered um, to the 38.2% Fibonacci level. Uh, currently, the price of gold is trading around 1871.325. We are going to be using a uh, further, a strong level of support will be down here around 1849, uh, uh, 1850.633. Uh, further up, we, we're seeing resistance at the 23.6% FIBO level around 1877. Point seven eighty six, and further up resistance is going to be the thirty eight point two percent Fibonacci level at eighteen ninety four point five six four. Dear traders, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this information will help you in trading this week. Please make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Show this video your support by giving me a like and ring the bell so that you're always up to date. See you next time.